This time at the Canadian Transportation Museum, we're taking a look at this international fire truck. And I am not sure of the year. Could be late 50s, could be mid 60s. I will look it up when I get home. This one's interesting in that the manifold for the for the water spraying and everything is on the front of the truck as opposed to being behind the cab. Interesting. And it says here it's a B160 series. By international and the last time it was registered for road use was 1982 and it was actually donated to the museum in 1996 we'll take a look inside the interior is in really good shape in this vehicle And according, this has 11,000 miles on it. That is not much at all. Of course, if we look at the pedals, there's almost no wear whatsoever on them. Of course, here is the handles for making the spotlights move around. The headliner is starting to sag, but that's normal. Now here they have instructions that you have to have it in neutral when you're pumping. Even the dome light lens is still in place in this truck. This truck is in beautiful condition. Here is the manufacturer's plate. It doesn't have a year of manufacture though, unfortunately. So here we have some of the controls for the pumper here. And of course, as I said earlier, the manifold and everything is on the front bumper. Well, that doesn't open. It's hoses that we'd use from the uh, from the fire hydrant are all here and intact. The main hoses for fighting fires, they're not present though. And this was built by American Marsh Pumps Canada in Stratford, Ontario. back when there was a whole lot more local manufacturing. The other side, it has its ladders in place. I believe it has a stretcher in place here as well. That's the stretcher, although I certainly wouldn't want to be carried on it. It's pretty much had it. Don't know what the log is for. And this is from the township of Maidstone. Here's the right side of the international fire truck. It certainly is an impressive piece of machinery on the front bumper. 
But there's some advantages to this in that you're not worried about what side of the truck you've got pointed towards the fire. Now obviously there's a front-mounted power takeoff to run the pump here. <laughs> 